Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josette. So, today's video is going to be all about 10 signs that you are not ready for locks. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, comment below, like this video. Let's get into it. I've been thinking about using a nickname to address all of you like I used to. Number one, you love to style your hair and you are that girl who is always changing her hairstyle from weave to lace fronts to lemonade braids to passion twists. If you're someone who is constantly changing her hairstyle and loves it, locks probably are not for you because you're gonna want to change your locks once they're installed and not only is that time consuming but if you've paid someone to put your locks in that is a huge waste of money sign number two you're not a patient person and you love to get instant results with your hairstyles whether it's getting your wig put on or sitting down for a few hours to get your braids in, you instantly get the look that you want. So if you're that person that just loves instant results and exactly what you want once the styling is done, locks are not for you. Sign number three, you love wearing your styles for a couple weeks at a time but you usually are the person that tends to take them out a bit early and switch to another hairstyle. Sign number four, you're thinking about locks, kind of, but you want your locks to look exactly like your lock crush's hair. Sorry to break it to you, your hair is not going to look exactly like your lock crush's hair. You have completely different hair types, hair texture, hair density, and chances are your lock crush's hair are long and they've been growing it for 10 plus years so it's gonna take a bit of time to get to that point sign number five you don't want to commit to the maintenance of interlock getting your hair interlocked or retightened every six to eight weeks and you also are not interested in learning how to do it a lot of people do get locks but they are willing to fork out the money every six to eight weeks for someone to do it for them I personally know how to interlock my own hair and I totally understand wanting to get that done but if you're not interested in doing either of those things then locks are just not for you. Sign number six, you are not interested in going through the awkward phase with your locks. You've seen the pictures and you just don't want to be a part of it. I personally wish I had more pictures of my hair at those beginning stages but I'm starting a new journey soon. So I'll definitely be documenting every single stage of my lock journey, which I'm really excited about. But if you just want to skip the awkward phase altogether, locks are not for you. You have to go through every part of the journey to get to the length or to the goal that you want to get to. Of course, you could use lock extensions, but it really depends on your hair type. If you have fragile hair, it could affect your edges if you don't go to someone who knows what they're doing. So. I would just skip locks altogether. Maybe you'll have a change of heart later on down the road, but for right now, the locks are not for you. Sign number seven, you want locks because it's trendy and you see everyone getting locks nowadays, especially during quarantine. A lot of people have decided to get locks. A lot of people decided to start their own locks and embark on that journey. But if you want locks just for the hashtags, on Instagram and just for the likes just because it's trendy because you want to be in that circle in that community locks are not for you sign number eight that locks are not for you, you want locks but you don't want to deal with other people's opinions about your locks that is pretty much unavoidable people will always have something to say about your hair especially in the black community which is pretty messed up and it's pretty sad. We have so many opinions about our hair when society has already made us feel like our hair texture is not good enough, it's not straight enough for these standards of beauty. But we are above and beyond those standards of beauty. I'm just saying, if you don't want to hear your aunt or your cousins or whoever talk about your hair especially during the awkward stage it's so frizzy it's so short 
why did you get it? Then you're not ready for locks because you most likely will have to go through that unless you have a very supportive family who just accepts everything that you do. Okay, sign number nine. You don't know the difference between sister locks and traditional locks and you really haven't done any research at all. I hear so many horror stories about people getting their hair done at really sketchy places who don't know anything about locks but they're still saying that they can install it for you and then you end up with botched hair. Please do your research. If you're not willing to do the research but you still want to go out and try to find someone to do your hair, you're not ready for locks because the last thing you want is to spend all of that money and you hate how your hair looks. That is the worst thing when you spend money on something, you can't get a refund and then you end up with hair that you don't even like. That, just stay away from that whole thing. Do your research, find out the difference between traditional locks and sister locks and all the other things that go into locks. What type of grid do you want? What size do you want? What method are you going to use to retighten? So many things that go into doing proper research. Unless you have a family member close to you that you trust who can inform you of all these things and who is going to install your hair for you, like a mother, just stay away from locks. I'm not saying forever. I'm just saying right now at this moment, you're not ready for locks. And sign number 10. This is the last one because I really want to emphasize this one, okay? You are obsessed with color, heat, and manipulation. Those three things do not go hand in hand with a lock journey, okay? You can check my old videos. I've done the color. And now with, when people have micro locks, you can actually add heat onto your hair. If you're obsessed with those things before your lock journey, you're just going to mess up your locks. Let's just be blunt about it. If you're obsessed with color, heat, manipulation, then it's just not for you. And I really don't feel like that's the purpose of a lock journey. I personally don't see the point of starting a lock journey just to over manipulate your hair. That can really affect your edges if you're doing a lot of tight styles on your edges. Especially on top of your maintenance, like your, your retightening and retwisting, plus doing really tight styles on your edges is just not a good idea. If you just want to get locks so that you can dye blonde, you're welcome to do it, but your hair is going to suffer and it's better to just do that with extensions or with a wig or if you want to do a big chop with your natural hair, your loose natural hair and then experience it and do a big chop. There's something about spending money and time on locks and then ruining it that is just... It doesn't really make sense. But the point is, if you are starting a lock journey, get all that stuff out of your system beforehand so that you can just have healthy, flourishing, gorgeous locks to just enjoy and to grow and to nurture. But if you just want to get the blonde, get the purple, do the heat, and do all these creative, intricate styles, locks are not for you and you're not ready for locks. So those are all of the 10 signs that you're not ready for locks. If any of these apply to you, please comment below or your experiences with the lock journey if you ended it. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will be seeing you in my next one. Bye.